Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to explore how we can import those images into SOLIDWORKS and uh, import them onto a plane so that we can trace them over and start the process of making of the marker pen. So let's take a look how we do that. I'm just gonna go file, I'm just gonna open a new file real quick. Uh, we're going to import those images on the top plane and a front plane. So I'm just gonna go and sketch on the top plane first. Make sure you're in the sketch mode. And you need to look for this button called Sketch Picture. Don't get panic if you don't have the button here. Just go to Customize, go to Commands, go to Sketch, and you will see the button is last right here. Just drag and drop on your screen and you will have it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. Then once you're in the Sketch Mode, remaining in the Sketch Mode, click on the button, which will allow you to browse the picture that you really want to import on your plane. In my case, I'm going to import a uh, marker top. I'm going to do that. Click OK. It opens up. And see here very carefully, the image has been imported uh, at the origins. And as you can see, there are a couple details here. This X and Y, these are the origin that we see here. This is the current dimension that's been converted pixels to millimeters. So now we're going to change those dimensions and we're going to make sure that this uh, origin point remains in the center. At the same time, our original dimension from this point to this point is 160 millimeters and you can double check on the website. So first uh, we'll do that. I'm going to click OK here and I'm going to draw a one simple line horizontal and I'm going to give it a dimension. And the dimension needs to be 160 millimeters. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see here, the dimension is very small and the image is very, very big. So I'm going to get out of the dimension tool and I'm going to start resizing this image. Now, to do that, I'm just going to double click on it and it will bring up the interface right here. If you know the perfect numbers, you can punch in here. And if you don't know the perfect numbers, you can hold in the shift button on your keyboard, you can start minimizing it. Now I'm here, as I hover my mouse over to the image, you can see the blue arrow pops up, shows up. I'm just gonna drag the entire image on the line, so just so I can have a perfect dimension. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try to match it. At the center point again, it's too big. I'm just gonna resize it. I'm gonna try to make it okay. Well, that looks uh, if we see carefully, we still need this to be a little bigger, it needs to attach there. And now we're going to take a look at here, it's out a little bit. So, in that case. We're just going to make sure it touches there. And that looks pretty, pretty good. And I think that's what we really want. But now if we see the object has been moved from its origin to somewhere else, and the real dimension of our object is this and this, that's what we really want. So now what we'll do, we will bring this entire image to the origin, which is right here. And at the same time, we want to make sure that the image is in center of the origin. So I'm going to change this dimension to zero, this dimension to zero, and hit enter. And you will see image has moved to zero, zero again. But we want this origin to be somewhere here in the center of the image. Now. How we do that? We'll take a look at that in a moment. I'm just gonna delete this real quick. I'm gonna click OK, select this, and I'm just gonna right click and delete it. Now we are here again. I'm just gonna double click on the image. Now, whatever is the dimension here in x axis and y axis, that's the dimension we're gonna use here. And I'm just gonna copy it, holding Ctrl C on my keyboard. And I'm just going to paste it here, Control V. I'm going to divide by 2, will provide me the center here somewhere. So I'm going to divide by 2. 
But as you can see, it just moves forward because it's a positive value. So we're just going to make it negative. I'm just going to add a minus sign in the front. And um, then I'm going to hit enter. And then you can see that it's it's perfectly in the center right here. But we want this origin, we want this origin to be here in the center. In order to do that, we just have to uh, get this y-axis value. Control C, Control V. I'm just going to divide the value by 2. Hit enter. And as you can see, it's far because it's in a positive direction. But we want to have it in a negative direction. So I'm just going to click minus and hit enter. As you can see now, now the origin is exactly in middle of the pen. Now, make sure all the time you have this lock aspect ratio checked. So I'm just going to keep it checked here. And you will realize in a moment why we are doing this, why we are bringing the image in the center. Now, we're going to import another image. So we get out the sketch, confirm all our changes. Now go to front plane. So front plane is right here, as you can see. It's passing through the top plane. So I'm just going to go to front plane. I'm just going to click on sketch. And I'm just going to go sketch picture. And on the front plane, I'm going to bring the image called marker side view. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, that nothing, nothing seems has been changed here, but the interface is already to the left that shows that image has been imported but if we rotate it we'll see our image has been imported on the front plane so again the image is too big another image is too small now what we're going to do in this case we're not going to do again try to match up the sizes with the line but we'll we'll be a little smart i'm going to click ok here i'm going to get out of the sketch mode i'm just going to go go to the the image first that we made and I'm just gonna copy the dimension of x-axis and y-axis on this little sticky notepad right here so control C and I'm just gonna do control V and the uh, Y axis value, control C, and I'm gonna bring it in control V. So these are the details that we're going to input in the other imported image. Now, how and why we can do that? Because both the images are originally of the same dimension when we made them in Photoshop. Uh, if it's not of the same dimension, it will not work. So make sure the images that you process, that you exactly process the way it's been shown in the tutorial that we just, uh, that's, that's one tutorial about in this tutorial, processing the images in Photoshop. So from here, I have copied these images on my notepad. I'm just going to go click OK. I'm going to go to the second picture, double click on it. And as we can see right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. And in x-axis value, I'm going to paste this. Then I'm going to go to y-axis value. I'm going to I'm going to copy the bottom value. And as you can see, we don't need to paste it. Why? Because the moment we punch in the first one, second one already has been established. And how that happened? Because we have kept the aspect ratio locked, so we change one value uh, on x-axis or y-axis. It's going to change to another one. So in our case, it's exactly what we wanted, so we don't need that, and that's perfect. But again, if we see it very carefully, on the front plane, if you're still in the sketch edit mode, we can see the origin is here, but not somewhere in the center here. Ideally, we want it in the center over here. So we'll do the same thing that we did last time, we're just gonna go Control c Control V, we're just going to divide by 2, hit enter, and this value needs to be negative. So I'm going to do that. Uh, same thing I'm going to do with the y axis value as well. I'm just going to copy, paste, divide by 2, and make that value negative. And now, as you can see, this is the detail that we really want. We can see the pen has been imported, and we can see all the details of the pen. All the points are matching nice and clean on one side and at the another side as well and that's what we really want 
you know, to start processing uh, with tracing these pictures. So uh, I think this concludes the tutorial, how to import the images uh, that we process in Photoshop onto the various planes in SOLIDWORKS. And I hope it was informative. In next tutorial, we're going to trace this image and we're going to make this marker pen. Thank you for watching.